So this movie made me think about a film that I haven't thought about in decades. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Moana 2. Now normally I don't go and see these movies, but I've kind of turned around a little bit. While Robot was a fantastic movie, if you haven't seen it yet, I definitely would recommend it. The film looks great. Fantastic improvements with the hair, with the water. The water just looked great. Also even some cool abyss references with how the water moved. Animation, lighting, color, all of that looked really, really good. Very, very cool, especially when you were right up close with characters. You really saw the animation and the detail and the craft in that. However, it really did feel like I was watching Mulan 2. Now, for those of you who don't even know what I'm talking about, or maybe I just unlocked a old key memory, Disney had a renaissance time from the late 80s of Little Mermaid up until Mulan, and maybe a little bit after, but with every great animated, hand-drawn animated movie they made, they also made a straight-to-home video sequel. And most of the time, they were ass. Admittedly, they were only given sometimes 20% of the budget of the original, if that, you obviously are limited with what you can do, and these movies were just very, very safe for audiences, and they just didn't really have any purpose to them. You could maybe say that Lion King 2 wasn't bad, and actually it's got some pretty decent songs in it, but one that has stuck in my mind for the amount of fury it put into me was Mulan 2. When the film came out, I was 13 years old and it was 2003, 2004. We didn't know any better. We just remember that pure feeling of why did I spend the time watching this when that movie came to an end? Because Mulan 2 has no reason for existing, it has no catchy songs, it has no interesting story, and it just doesn't have a purpose. And that is unfortunately the number one critique I can say for that of Moana 2 is it just really doesn't have a purpose other than Disney wanting people to have a sequel so they could make money. The film has such a bare bones plot. I can literally describe it as Moana and Maui need to go to an island because if they don't, people will die for reasons. Now, I understand that that is somewhat similar to that of the first film, but the first film had lessons to it. It was about Maui taking the heart of that island and realizing that by doing so, he was caring more about himself than the environment and other people, and he had to learn humility, and he learned that through a mortal. A mortal was able to teach a demigod a lesson, and through that, they were able to bring peace back to the islands. And this one, yeah, this island, they gotta find it, because, trust me, bro, that's so much of the point of this movie is trust me, bro. Not to say that there isn't some bad jokes in here. I, I will make that point. There were some parts that made me laugh. There were also some jokes that made me groan there was a butt dial joke and the instant i heard it i was like no you you didn't just say that and then the character then goes you'll get that joke in about 2000 years so it's like oh no someone wrote that and now admittedly when you look at the people who worked on the movie the only person who is there from the original is jared bush everyone else is new many of them have no experience at this level this movie doesn't have anything to it that is memorable none of the songs are good like not a single one i listened to them again on the way home just to be like maybe i'm being cynical no not a single one not a single one is catchy and then the characters too they are going from one thing to another because they have to and they're doing it at lightning speed and it's not letting the moment or the purpose or the context breathe apparently this did go through quite a tumultuous production originally it was going to be like a little mini series comprised of like five or six episodes this movie is put together because disney executives wanted a sequel but they didn't let anyone actually have the time to come up with a story that was worth telling moana 2 might appease the kids i could hear some kids enjoying it three kids who were down to my left i always think about that screen testing from pocahontas where there was this really really impactful song between Pocahontas and John Smith, and it was cut because the kids weren't paying attention. They were bored. And it was only like a, what, a minute and 30 seconds, and they were just like this. They were like playing around and whatnot. Those three kids did that a lot. Now I'm not saying that kids haven't had their attention span affected, especially with like iPads and stuff like that, but the fact that those three kids could not sit still 
through nearly the entire movie. They're the ones who are supposed to be watching it, and they're bored. I will say that it has a bit of a ooh kind of ending. Very cool cinematic look to it, even if the purpose of it isn't really explained. And then it has an ending that just feels so cliche, so safe, and so unnecessarily sequel baiting you. You're referencing someone who has technically been in this movie the whole time, but I've never seen them like that. You don't know who the villain is. Technically speaking, it's this big dark purple cloud in the sky, but you don't actually see who they are until the very, 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 very end. It's not like a, a twist reveal. This is literally explained in the post credits. There's no lesson here. There's no lesson in here for kids to learn. Uh, oh, like maybe there's always another way to solve something to that song that's not really good. I am a grown man talking about a movie made for children, so obviously take this opinion as a grain of salt. <laughs> Story, its purpose, its characters, and its music all really bring it down. I'm sorry, friendos. Uh, I'm gonna give Moana 2 a 2 out of 7. There is no reason to watch this movie. And I, I thought the first one was pretty good. This one, it doesn't warrant a ticket price. If you do go and see this, only go and see it on a Tuesday. And even then, it might not be worth it to you. But again, those are just my thoughts. Those are my opinions. Love to see what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you watched Mulan too and you were just as pissed off with that ending as I was. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time.